There's Good. nothing you can tell me about this dish that's gonna make me stop <laughs> eating mac and cheese. These little critters are crushed, boiled, or oh. dried to make beetle Oh juice. no. So today we'll be tasting foods that are both delicious and familiar. Familiar. As long as delicious is in there, I'm are they good. delicious and nutritious? Mm. Mm. That sounds super simple. What's the catch? Today we'll be teaching you some disgusting facts about these dishes that you may or may not know. Okay. Okay. I love to learn. If you eat it, you get a nugget of information with it. But if oh you don't eat God. it, you learn nothing. These food episodes get so weird, so I'm very nervous. As long as you don't show like an an the animal being slaughtered. I think I'm, I'll, be, I'll be good to go. If you go that dark with it, I'm screwed. First, a favorite dessert of many. Okay. Vanilla ice cream. Oh, nice, okay. This is my breakfast, I'm so stoked. Yes. <laughs> it's a pretty good breakfast, I will not lie. You ready? Click, ding. To us. Now let's learn a little bit more about this delicious meal. Vanilla is one of the most popular- This voice sounds familiar. Uh, Ethan's voice but, is very comforting. But, are you fully aware of what it takes to make oh, it? Oh, we're gonna learn how it's made. Oh, great. Castorium. Castorium is derived from the castor sacs or anal what glands of beavers. What the Beavers you from the castor sacs or anal glands of beavers. <laughs> Yo! Oh, what? Beavers use the scent from castorium along with urine to mark their territories. Hmm. This ingredient is also I'm like, why is this the image that you're alcohol. showing us right now? This ingredient is also commonly found in alcohol, mm. Baked Delicious. Foods, That's fine. I'm fine candy, with this. Chewing oh. gum and pudding. This I mean, I was grossed out, but listed as everything is beaver flavors. Are commonly listed as natural <laughs> flavors on most products. Nice. It's like oh. can also be found in other common products like He's makeup so cute. and perfume. Can also be found in other common products like makeup and perfume. <laughs> While the usage of castorium the has decreased over the passing what years, is this? the usage of castorium has decreased over the passing years. The FDA lists this extract as a safe mm. additive, solidifying its presence in our products for years to come. So, like, there's meat in this. Like, what? You want to say to that beaver fact? Damn. Now I am just gonna look at beavers in a whole nother way and be like, wow, you know their butts make ice cream? I already like feel terrible when I eat a burger, so like seeing that picture, I'm like, great, awesome. I'm sick now. So that did not affect your love for vanilla ice cream? Nope. No, not even a little mm -hmm. bit. It hasn't changed my mind. As long as it's less than 5% of beaver butt, mm -hmm. I can handle that. I don't think it's necessarily gonna make me eat more ice cream but it won't stop me from eating ice cream. This makes me more likely to make my own ice cream because this is what happens when you buy industrial food. So up next, an American favorite, <gasps> hot dogs. Hot dog! Oh! Hot dog! Hot dogs, are going based off of this theme, hot dogs are like literally everything. I know that hot dogs are bad. I've known that from the get. We got an American classic here. Woo wee! It, it's a normal hot dog. Yeah, They're just gonna tell us totally how much disgusting crap's in this hot dog. But I'll give it a bite. Show it. Hot dogs are an American favorite. Simple yet delicious. Please don't tell me the Ethan. process is not as beautiful as it seems. What you may already know is that hot dogs are composed of the trimmings and fat. Oh of man! Our favorite farming. <laughs> Yes, this includes oh. is that hot dogs are composed oh, of, no. <laughs> of all of our favorite farm animals. Yes, this includes the yummy intestines. No, no. Hot dogs oh also God, contain no. sugar fillers for an extra kick of flavor. <laughs> High fructose corn syrup is the meat. Hot dogs also contain sugar fillers for an extra kick of flavor. High fructose corn syrup is the main syrup of choice among That's others. A brutal hot clip that we were just watching. Yeah. Yeah. Too and much. Boss. Hot dogs also contain sodium nitrate <laughs> and phosphates. These dangerous chemicals I'm are sorry, added into <laughs> these dangerous chemicals are added in to preserve the wieners and keep them pink instead of their natural. Preserve your color. wiener, Jack. These chemicals mm -hmm. are also known to cause heart damage, pancreatic cancer, autoimmune disease, and digestive disturbance. Fun. <laughs> if you're not turned off yet, studies have found that two percent of Ooh, tested hot dogs yeah. are positive for containing human DNA. No, not meat, just oh, bodily substances Jesus. like air and skin particles. What are you gonna do? Uh, it's in a factory. 
People are working out. Don't puke. <laughs> I'm okay, I just feel so bad for the pig. I will say, yeah, this one I felt seemed a little more repulsive actually than the, the ice cream. Are you guys going to continue eating hot dogs? I would eat another hot dog. I was gonna, uh -huh. I'll just like go to a barbecue and then eat a hot dog and then have a flashback to this. I don't like them anyway, so <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> You know, I say this one might actually make me a little less likely to eat a hot dog. So up next we have a Japanese classic. Ooh, sushi! sushi. Oh my god. I'm loving life right now. Nothing you guys can show me can make me stop eating food. Ugh. Bon appetit. Ugh. Sushi is both a oh, Japanese mukbang classic girl, and a girl, me too. I hit mukbang videos. Is it really as innocent as it seems? Yes. Of stop. course not. Oh. While the art of sushi is a beautiful thing, the fish that go into it are not so pleasant. Uh oh. Salmon. But it eats this before it gets to the bad part. Yeah, yeah actually. Salmon, for example, is one of the more common fish types we use in America for sushi, and it's actually on the brink of extinction. Oh, that's oh. sad. The Smithsonian Magazine, salmon is already We're killing everything. Forty percent of its historical range. That's, salmon that's also my favorite fish to eat. Salmon also contains polychlorinated biphenols or PCBs, which are highly PCB? toxic chemicals. PC, it sounds like a cool drug. Which are highly toxic. Toxic chemicals banned internationally since 1979. Besides PCBs, 84% <laughs> of all fish worldwide contain unsafe mercury levels. Oh, I love mercury. Damage mm -hmm. to the brain, kidney, lungs. That's and something I've genuinely been concerned about. No okay, so much tests. fish. All fish worldwide contain unsafe mercury levels, which is known to cause damage to the brain, kidney, lungs, and heart. Those are like my favorite Currently, organs. There is no government regulated test for mercury in our seafood, but no worries. Out of the 80% oh, of the poor of fish imported by the US, the FDA inspects a whopping 2% for possible contaminants. Oh, bro, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, but that clip is also like, I don't think I'm ever eating that fish. <laughs> like, that fish is gone. Okay, but we are so bad. We it. are. We're so bad. Oh my God. The videos of like the ocean and like seeing all the trash and mm -hmm. stuff that really got me and made me sad. Fish is supposed to be one of the healthier things mm -hmm. you can eat, but now like they're eating plastic. They're like the fish are eating plastic. The fish are eating plastic and surviving and surviving until it gets to our table. So how do you guys feel? So you're going to continue to eat sushi? Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. Maybe I'll cut back like a little bit more on it, just at least on the fish. Well, that one wasn't as bad. I'm still definitely gonna eat sushi. I will yes. continue to eat 16 ounces of salmon every morning as is tradition. So up next, we have arguably one of the best sides in the world. Oh, a bold statement. Ooh, mac and oh cheese. my god. Yes. Yes. So good. There's nothing you can tell me about this dish that's gonna make me stop <laughs> eating mac and cheese. All right. Well, I'm just gonna dive in and get ready for this video. Mac and cheese, an appetizing dish with a popular reputation and the go to for many. As delicious as it seems, many brands of mac and cheese contain industrial waste, <laughs> specifically <laughs> petroleum <laughs> and waste. Specifically uh, petroleum and. Oh, you know what that means? Tar. These are the main coal tar. Of industrial waste, <laughs> specifically petroleum and coal tar. Petroleum. These are the main ingredients of tartrazine, or yellow file, commonly found in most yellow colored foods. These are the main ingredients of tartrazine, or yellow five, commonly found in most yellow colored okay, foods. Okay, that makes sense. This includes gelatin, well, butter, what percentage yogurt, is tar? fruit snacks, enough and, yes, to be notable. Butter, yogurt, fruit snacks, mm. and yes, our favorite cheesy chips and puffs. All What's of those things, one I will still eat all of those things of mentioned. The effects of tartrazine <laughs> on the body include behavioral changes. <laughs> nice. The effects of tartrazine <laughs> on, on the body include behavioral changes, like irritability. Have you seen people using Cheetos and Doritos insomnia, for like hyperactivity, fire starters? Cancer, no, and that's asthma. gross. Behavioral changes, like irritability, restlessness, depression, insomnia, hyperactivity, cancer, and asthma. Ooh. Mm. Mac and cheese is one of my favorite foods of all time. How has this impacted That one didn't get me as much. I was like, nah, okay, there's some coal in there. I put that on my face. People drink coal water, isn't that like a trend? <laughs> in our final dish oh of the boy. day. Ooh, red, red velvet, cake. velvet cake. Is this made for my mom? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're gonna tell me? It's like a full course Wish. meal today. I love it. What I thought would be torture is bliss. Please don't do this to me. I love dessert. Like, this is like my whole diet. Red velvet, scrumptious, sapid, sweetened, and sugar-coated. Mm -hmm. 
guaranteed to put a smile on most faces. Yep. There can't be anything twisted about such Did a ours. Pleasant, there can't be anything twisted about such a pleasant mess, right? Right. Maybe. Depends on how you feel about beetles. Specifically, oh, no. the beetles used in carmine. Uh oh. Specifically, the cochineal beetles used in carmine, the main ingredient in all our favorite red foods that makes it red. How easy. These little critters are that? crushed, boiled, no. or dried to make beetles. These little critters are crushed, boiled, or oh. dried to make beetle Oh, juice. no. The crushed, boiled, or dried to make <laughs> no. beetle juice. Beetle juice. The best part beetle is juice. About 70, beetle juice. Beetle juice. Beetle juice. Beetle juice. Beetle juice. The best part is it only takes about 70,000 beetles to create Oh, that much. That's a whole lot of beetles. Yum. Carmine might also be listed as carminic acid, cochineal extracts, crimson lake, natural red 4, E120, and more. See, when they tell you it's E120 and they don't Carmine bother with the, the fake name, consume it. Like, you know, allergic, you're in trouble. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, Poppin' Beetles like ASMR. Cringe. Fortunately, other than the slight cringe of being aware, Carmine is not detrimental to the health of those who consume it. Unless it allergic, right. most bugs in general are unless allergic, most bugs in general are safe for human consumption, and the wide acceptance of this may even lead to a progressive future. Heck yeah. See? So there you go. That one wasn't so bad after all. I feel like we should assume that like bugs are gonna make its way into everything. Somehow. Yeah. Do you feel gross now? Do you I want don't like that another one. piece? How has this impacted you? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of red velvet cake, specifically for that reason. I don't mind eating a beetle though, and honestly, like that, it's super metal. So now that you're more aware of the facts behind all of these delicious foods, are there any that you plan to stop eating? I, I think the hot dog is something like, you always know it's bad, but when you like, whenever you see videos of that kind of thing, it's just like, yeah, not great. Not feeling good. Maybe the salmon one would switch it up a little bit because that is my go-to fish at like any restaurant when it's just grilled, sushi, anything. I had no idea they were that endangered. Hot dogs? Uh, hot, yeah, I'm so good. Like I'm straight up good. Seeing it with your eyes, you are like, oh God, that's the impact I'm making. And is that the impact I want to be making? Absolutely not. Thanks for watching this episode of Staff Reacts. On the React channel. Subscribe for new shows. Every day. If you like this video. Hit that like button. What food should we eat next? Let us know in the comments. Hey guys, Mia here from FBE. Help us sustain our growth on YouTube by joining our super fam where we make sure every tier is better than the last. Click the link in the description. Bye.